I think Farmer to Farmer is a wonderful program. It's just an incredible opportunity. This becomes such a huge part of my life. It was an opportunity to really give back in a serious way to developing countries. I was excited to have the opportunity to continue virtual. It's not the same. Um, it's definitely, you know, not as fun as, as being able to go in person and, and be with people and experience the country and, you know, get out and see new places. But it's been a really, really great way to continue to stay involved, um, to build my skills and to continue to help others. I thought the idea of having a local counterpart, uh, Mahir, who helped from that end uh, was a great idea. I think that should always be the case with Farmer to Farmer. There should be a local counterpart. Eh, una muy buena opción porque el hecho de que yo esté acá en la misma zona hace que puedo compartir la realidad y él con sus conocimientos nos puede guiar para dar solución. It was very different doing it uh, remotely, having already done an in-country trip. I couldn't have done it without the in-country Lebanon team. Kiara was basically the boots on the ground uh, for me and, and our work in the facility, the, the kitchen that we were working with. She would make observations, we would reconvene, and we would go over what those observations were and then plan what we would go over with the site themselves. I was actually surprised how much we were able to get done and translate back over to the in-country site that we were visiting. My impression when I was first asked was, okay, it's gonna miss the cultural part. It's gonna miss my actually seeing what the beekeepers are doing. I'll be able to talk with them a bit, but it's all gonna depend on who my partner is over there, how well it works. She was the main reason that it was successful. I didn't expect that um, somewhere in this world, there were uh, beekeepers that have the uh, same vision as me. That surprised me a lot with Ed, that we have the same vision that uh, we've trained in beekeepers, in beekeeping, we should start to the beginning, bee biology, for the trainees to understand how bees live, how they work, and then the rest of the training can go easily after. I've been raising boar goats um, since I was pretty much a child. I've learned a lot of things the hard way, um, and so I wanted to participate farmer to farmer, not only just to share knowledge, but you know to share that common interest with other people in other countries for me to maybe potentially help somebody else. Well, I'm very happy to work with Zago. Every time when we ask the questions about the disease board goat, uh, as well the goat disease management and the uh, every sector, he has given the smart answer. He is very knowledgeable, very interactive. I like his easy stand, yeah, <laughs> yeah. My partner in this assignment was and is Marilyn Phillips, and working with her has proved to be great in terms of learning because she brings so much experience with her to the classroom. Uh, the way she conducts the sessions is very different from me, which is a wonderful experience for the kids to see that there's different style from a different culture. Liana was very good at taking marketing concepts and doing very practical exercises, ideation sessions and that sort of thing. It's just meeting people where they are, getting to their needs, fitting our consulting to their needs in very practical ways that can have an impact. 
Aşna gibi muhterkov, sıkfaz merbera patrasmit, işkan varnetlen kışahuit, ne tam başmasın, gelenk mey kampaki zargatman hama. Ya bir çorba zırak dedi meç, kutek tavel, hama ikin. What I discovered, sometimes the intervention is not a big thing. It might be morning meetings for just 10 minutes has resulted to this to, to this big results which has been happening. Although at the beginning was tough, but Catherine was there encouraging us to assist us. To be able to talk to Ernest and even to greet all the staff members in the room to encourage them to go make something happen. Catherine is very she's a good leader. She's a good manager. And she passed on that to me, but also I passed on that to the to the microfinance institutions. I mean, if you're a man who makes his own, also Catherine and Mr. Jeremy, when they are doing the job, when they are able to have fun, they get reporti. Zakila weeki, oh Zakila Mwenzi, I mean, to show you to fun, and when we start Saturday, to have fun, they get reporti. I mean, if you're a visitor, it's fun. Community uh, received our service to them, and uh, it has improved their lives, the performance of the organizations, which has been trickled down to the beneficiaries. Lakini ni lipo choko azilela, ni kaja ni kanunu ambole ya ni kanunu adawa, ni kaendele ya nashuliza muzakili. Mara ya pili pia ni lipo enda kuchoko aela, ni kaja. Nikaendelea tena na shughuli zangu za kilimo nikatanua zaidi eneo langu. I think Farmer to Farmer has helped me to be a better teacher and by using different examples, using different content, using different perspectives that I either wasn't aware of or, you know, uh, didn't think I had the time to include, but so it's really also made I think my regular teaching at home more inclusive, hopefully more inclusive and a wider world view as well. I think cultural exchange is, is, is extremely important. I just know that when there are problems in different countries, some people feel them and some people don't, and that's just because they haven't had the opportunities to meet people that are living under different conditions. And, and that's, one of the, that's one of the main things that Farmer to Farmer does. I go into it as presumably a teacher or a uh, helper. And in fact, I think I learn more from the assignment than the people who are at the other end who are hosting me. It's It's been wonderful working uh, with Winrock and the Farmer to Farmer program. So I've been encouraging my colleagues, so I would recommend uh, anyone, I would urge them on and say, go for it, don't look back. Así que animo a todos y todas, si tienen la oportunidad y el tiempo, pues eh, que participen de estas convocatorias para ser voluntarios. I'm not a farmer. I don't have that agricultural expertise. What I do have is a sense of understanding of exactly what Farmer to Farmer is trying to do. It's trying to change lives. Through the intervention of USAID, by putting Americans and local experts together. It opens up so much more, so many more possibilities if um, the organization FDF is willing to uh, build on the, what we've had to go through during this pandemic period, that you can keep doing things remotely. It's incredibly rewarding work being a volunteer for Farmer to Farmer. The knowledge you have to draw on from within yourself, the skills you have to display to convey complicated concepts uh, in a straightforward, easy to understand manner. I feel myself growing, you know. Plus just the privilege of meeting other people from other cultures is just an incredible reward.